Dangers of using a gas-powered leaf blower for snow. Winter is here, and snow has become an unwelcome guest that keeps piling up on our driveways and sidewalks. Clearing it can be quite a hassle, and as someone who has tried multiple methods, I have found that using a gas-powered leaf blower can be advantageous and risky when clearing snow in the winter. In my experience, leaf blowers come in different types, with gas, electric, battery, and corded being the most common. Each class has unique advantages and disadvantages, and it's essential to understand their mechanisms to make informed decisions. Gas-powered blowers are more powerful than electric and battery-operated model sources. While these machines have the advantage of mobility and power, they also emit pollution and can be pretty noisy. On the other hand, electric leaf blowers, both corded and battery-powered, are significantly quieter and emit fewer pollutants. However, they may lack the power and runtime of gas-powered models. For example, corded electric blowers require access to a power source, which limits mobility, while battery-powered models need sufficient battery life to complete a task. One of the significant drawbacks of using gas-powered leaf blowers is their contribution to air pollution. These machines emit harmful pollutants like carbon monoxide, nitrogen oxides, and hydrocarbons from their exhaust. Furthermore, gas-powered leaf blowers often lift and disperse dust and other particulate matter from the ground, which may aggravate respiratory issues and lead to other health problems. Some models can reach noise levels of up to 112 decibels, which not only disturbs nearby residents but can also cause hearing damage or lead to tinnitus, stress, and other noise-induced health issues. By burning fossil fuels, these machines release greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, making me wonder if there might be more environmentally friendly alternatives, such as electric or battery-powered leaf blowers, that could significantly reduce my carbon footprint while clearing snow effectively. While using a gas-powered leaf blower, I noticed how pollution and noise could be particularly harmful to specific at-risk groups with pre-existing health conditions. Children and older individuals have more sensitive respiratory systems, making them more susceptible to the detrimental effects of the particulates and pollutants emitted by gas-powered leaf blowers. Excessive exposure to these toxic fumes could exacerbate health problems like asthma. An alternative to gas-powered leaf blowers is electric or battery-powered blowers. I have used both corded and battery-powered electric models, and while they lack the power of their gas counterparts, they are much more environmentally friendly. Electric blowers produce significantly less noise, making them a better choice for yard work in community spaces where noise pollution is a concern. When using a corded electric blower, I found it easy to maneuver in my yard, although it required an extension cord for larger areas, which is inconvenient in cold weather. Battery-powered electric models offer the freedom to move around without being tethered to an outlet, but they require frequent recharging, especially when the weather is cold, as batteries do not do well in freezing temperatures. Many advocacy groups and environmentalists are pushing to adopt electric or battery-powered alternatives to gas-powered leaf blowers. These alternative options typically generate less noise and emit fewer pollutants, making them more suitable for residential areas where the noise and emissions produced by gas-powered leaf blowers can negatively impact the community. However, I wonder if these groups have considered the negative impact on health and society of having snowy or icy surfaces not cleared by any method or the health risks to individuals clearing snow with a shovel. For more information, visit us at shovelzone.ca.